Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here in Passage of Skin. This is a, just a little glitch video I'm going to try out here. So um, I did this already and tested it out and it worked perfectly fine. Let's see if I can do it again. Uh, this is mostly just for the purposes of, I'm going to post this on Twitter and send it straight to the developers and go like, hey, hey, uh, I don't think that's meant to happen, is it? So if I do this, switch from Krith to Burner, then out, switch cross and back again, then lift a Burner, and put him here on the map, right? Then switch Chris. And then go back out of it again. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, weird. There we go. <laughs> and now I have two Chris's. And a massive gap between <laughs> Chris and the rest of my list of characters. Right, fair enough. So I can clone this character as many times as I want onto the actual uh, position because the um, it's freaking out the game. It's actually locking up as well whenever I'm doing this because the this mission that I'm particularly playing has a specific character that you have to actually play as in it. You have to have him as part of your party. Oh God, is the game, does it just lock up to it? Oh, it does that anytime he has his... Um, Creature in hand, that's why. Okay, so he actually summons a creature to actually support you um, while you're playing. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Put it in. I think I've completely locked up my controls here. <laughs> yeah, so it's a it's an awkward glitch. <laughs> I should be able to put her down here, but I can't put down the character who seems to actually have locked them out. My locked out my controls. Uh, imagine if I do this and I go back and I jump back forward again. I jump back and then jump forward again. I might be actually able to do it because um, I think it's just the glitch. It's it's just locking up my controls whenever it's actually loading each level. Nope, no, nope, that's it. That's all my controls locked up. So literally all I can do is fight with those two characters. That's all I've got. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a glitch. It can actually ruin your playthrough of a particular mission. I mean, what, the only way to solve it is to either have the game crash out or leave the mission. I had the game crash out myself earlier on because I had 12, I had, I had every slot filled, well, 11 of them. With uh, Chris as actually my main, only playable character. Then anytime I got attacked by one of the enemies, it actually hit all of them at once because there was actually only one character. But they were doing the damage of eleven of them at the one time, which is kind of impressive. Um, so yeah, that that's my demonstration of a glitch during this week's uh, Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. So yeah, <laughs> it happens. Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, Dungeon Dragons from Codename. I think is actually the name of the company that makes it. Just, uh, guys, fix your bug, <laughs> because it can be very frustrating. Imagine that I'm not the only one who wants to actually use Brain Ore in the opening bit of that mission, and that's what causes the issue. If you try to switch to Brain Ore, it causes you to clone Chris over and over again if you keep switching back and forth, uh, especially if you're trying to level up one of them and use the other. So, uh, yeah, fix that problem, please, if you can. <laughs> that would be much appreciated. If you happen to be watching this channel for the first time, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, hopefully this got retweeted by the company to just point out that you should not be doing this. But um, yeah, if you happen to enjoy the channel, it's youtube.com forward slash pastiche of skin, twitch.tv forward slash pastiche of skin, or you can catch me on pasticheoflife.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next glitchy video. <laughs> Bye.